Welcome back to Wadcast, guys. Hope you're doing well out there. I'm your host, Wad, as always. And in this video, we're going to be doing an addendum to the video that I made yesterday regarding the newly released videos of uh, Jenna Ellis and Sidney Powell from the DA's office, Willis's office. Uh, ABC News somehow got a hold of some snippets of the proffer agreement and testimony, proffer testimony that was given before the plea agreements were signed officially. And uh, I told you guys how Donald Trump is going to be convicted now in Georgia. And of course, he is. Uh, but in this video, I want to address a question that was asked in the comment section or a statement that was many statements that were made in the comment section about how Donald Trump is going to flee the jurisdiction before he goes to jail uh, for, a, for a single day. There are a lot of people who are skeptical that Donald Trump is ever going to prison because they think they actually, they've actually bought into the myth of Teflon Don, usually progressive types who are cynical of our justice system. All those people are wrong, by the way. They've been proven wrong every single step of the way. They thought that Gillian Maxwell would never go to prison. DOJ locked her ass up. A judge has sentenced former British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell to 20 years in prison. A federal jury convicted Maxwell in December for helping her longtime associate Jeffrey Epstein recruit, groom, and sexually abuse teenage girls. They thought that Elizabeth Holmes, the fraudster, the billionaire, would never go to prison. Her ass is in prison. Tonight, the epic rise and downfall of disgraced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes has come to an end. The former CEO reported to a federal prison today for defrauding investors out of hundreds of millions of dollars. Every single time the progressives have been cynical of our justice system, they've been proven wrong because they suck, they don't know the law, they're idiots. Jurisprudence. Jurisprudence. Um, Fifth Amendment jurisprudence in America. Jurisprudence, 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 jurisprudence. I have to wipe away a giant chunk of American jurisprudence. And jurisprudence. And jurisprudence. Jurisprudence. And I'm talking about TYT, Jane Uger, Anna Kasparian, people like this. They don't know anything. They're disrespectful to the most honorable law enforcement officers in this country. They disrespect the Justice Department every day. But they never charge the powerful. They never charge the rich, right? I wouldn't hold my breath in regard to Trump ever going to prison. I'm just, I, I think it's important to keep our expectations um, tethered to reality. I actually think that the two tier justice system we're dealing with here is pretty gross. But the reality is uh, people who were former politicians, former presidents usually get away with their crimes. We have two standards of justice in our country. One for people like you and me, and one for the corrupt political class of which there are many. They make me sick. They don't do anything for America. People like Jack Smith, prosecutors are the ones who keep America safe, and they should be on their knees praising the Justice Department instead of uh, whining on their progressive shows about how, how our justice is so racist and so unfair. You're wrong. You suck. Okay? Don't even get me started because this is how I alienate everybody because I know there are a lot of people from the left watch my show, but I'm sick of the left and their attacks on the Justice Department. Just shut the fuck up. You don't know anything, okay? Donald Trump is going to prison. He, the only people who don't know that are Donald Trump and the progressives who refuse to admit it. So let me explain. I'm going to explain the law here, but I'm, first I'm going to explain why Donald Trump is not going to flee. Because Donald Trump has actually bought into the lies of the progressive left, who also think that he's never going to prison because he's a white right winger. Uh, that's what Cenk Uger says, and of course Cenk Uger is wrong. So, and by the way, are there any laws in this country anymore? Or can you just rob people? Just lie to them, rob them. There's no law. I'm a right wing Christian. So there's the cops will never hold me accountable. Uh, and by the way, he's not running for president either because he can't. Uh, he's not a, a citizen of America, a native citizen of America, so he can't run for uh, president. But forgetting about that, let's get back to the question at hand here. So why isn't he going to flee? Well, because like the left, Donald Trump doesn't believe that he's going to prison. He His his lawyers have not informed him that he is totally screwed because Donald Trump has surrounded himself, as Putin has, with yes men, people who will not tell him the truth. People will only tell him what he wants to hear. And this is a very bad conversation combination for, uh, for a person who wants to be reality-based, okay? In the real world, nature's law reigns supreme. It doesn't matter what you think inside your head. Your opinions are irrelevant. The natural law and natural facts in the real world are the only thing that matters. You can do whatever you want in your head, but the shackles are going to come for you. The heavy metal of the federal justice system is going to be on your ass soon, okay? And Donald Trump doesn't get that. He thinks he, he literally thinks he's above the law and that he's ne never going to prison. It, it, the, as far as the evidence goes, the prosecutors already have more than enough evidence to meet the burden at a criminal trial, which is guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. So I'm going to explain the law here because I didn't do it in my last video. I'm going to quickly go through it here. There are three elements in a criminal trial that a prosecutor must prove. 
Okay, in order to get a guilty verdict, uh, if you read law books, these are the three elements, actus reus, mens rea, and proximate causation. What is actus reus? Actus reus is the commission of a crime, that a crime happened. When it comes to Georgia, we know what the crime is, election interference. Same thing as uh, uh, the D.C. case, basically. They have a lot in common. Okay, Different factors because they're two different places and jurisdictions. One's a federal case, the other's a state case. But basically, prosecutors have to prove actus reus, mens rea, and uh, proximate causation. Those are the three main elements of a crime that you had to prove at trial okay actus reus is the commission of a crime it's obvious that they tried to overthrow uh, overturn the election there's much evidence to support that so actus reus already done okay second element and the most important is mens rea that's criminal intent that's what we covered yesterday where people around you people around donald trump i should say knew what he was doing and they're going to tell the prosecutors and the juries both in dc and in georgia exactly what he was planning he wanted to overturn the election he knew that he lost but he didn't want to leave credible people told him he lost the election like the people who ran his campaign the people who were the biggest fans of donald trump told him boy you lost okay it's time to get the fuck out of here but he said no i ain't leaving i'm staying were you ever around when someone anyone told uh Donald Trump that he had lost the election. Oh yeah. Who? Uh, Pat Cipollone, Eric Hirschman, Derek Lyons all thought he'd lost. He said um, to me in a kind of excited tone, well, we don't care and we're not going to leave. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, the boss, meaning President Trump and everyone understood the boss. Um, that's what we all called him. Um, he said the boss uh, is not going to leave under any circumstances. We are just going to stay in power. And I said to him, well, it doesn't quite work that way, you realize. And he said, we don't care. Okay, that's a crime. That's intent. So second element, met. D.C. and Georgia, met. Mens rea, down. That's the most important element. After you have that, you have the jury. Third is not so important, but proximate causation, which is that uh, without the existence of the defendant, in this case, Trump, the crime would not happen. But for the defendant's actions, the crime would not have happened. So January 6th would not have happened were it not for Donald Trump. That's proximate causation. Third element, met. What I just explained are first year, maybe second year law school. By the time you go to at least the first year of law school, you should know this. These are the three basic elements of a, uh, a criminal prosecution. These are the things that prosecutors have to prove. And anybody who's a lawyer out there knows exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, if you saw the evidence that came out yesterday, you would have come to the same conclusion that I have. They have actus reus. They already had that for a long time. January 6th happened, obviously, because of Trump. That's uh, the third one, proximate causation. But for the actions of Trump, January 6th would not happen. So they have the third element met. The most important element was mens rea. And now they have mens rea met as well. So it's finished. OK, and Donald Trump, like I said, is not going to flee because he's so arrogant. He thinks he's above the law. He's bought into the lies of the progressive left who think that Donald Trump will never go to prison. Donald Trump is going to prison. OK, that's a done deal uh, in D.C. or in Georgia or both. And the prosecutors had to work out how that works. It might be the case that after he's convicted, he thinks about fleeing the country. But uh, he should look into what happened to uh, Sam Bankman Freed. OK, whatever country he goes to, he's going to be extradited back here. Uh, Sam Bankman free tried to run to the Bahamas to hide. He says he was just at his house, which may be true. He did have a residence there. But either way, it doesn't matter. Even if he went to some non-extradition country, which we had an extradition treaty with um, the Bahamas, but even non-extradition countries will send American criminals back to us because they don't want our criminals if they go to hide there. If America asks nicely, most countries will give it, give them back, even if we don't have an extradition treaty. The only exception might be North Korea, Russia, and a couple other countries who are not, Iran, who are not going to be uh, compliant with us. So, but I seriously doubt that Trump is going to go to Russia, despite how much he uh, likes Putin. Uh, he, he's not going to want to put his fat ass on the line going to a war zone. I doubt it. Okay, but we don't know. We don't know that. I I have no real predictions on that. Uh, when he's convicted, he might actually think, just like his stupid supporters, that he's going to win on appeal. He's not going to win on appeal. A jury verdict is rarely ever overturned unless the defense can prove significant constitutional violations. There's not going to be any constitutional violations. Jack Smith's team is going to do the most careful prosecution that's ever been done. They're going to check all the, the T's and dot all the I's and make sure that everything goes by the book in this case, and they're not going to leave any space for appeal. There's not going to be any grounds for reversible error, which is the only way that uh, court, uh, cases can be appealed. Criminal cases can be appealed. So... Donald Trump is going to prison and both him and the left needs to get that through their skull. 
Okay, the progressives are wrong and MAGA's wrong. As usual, the left and the, the extreme left and the extreme right are all wrong about our country. Our country is awesome. Our legal system works. It's not racist. It's not fundamentally broken. It is not uh, favorable to the rich. All these are lies that have been spread by the left and people like Alex Jones. TYT and Alex Jones have a lot in common. They both hate America. Okay, and they, they're trying their very best to convince Americans that America is horrible. And they're proposing their stupid changes. Nobody's interested. The people who actually are regular Americans understand that America is awesome. And we don't need your left-wing extremist changes or your right-wing extremist changes. And that's the bottom line. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. If you want to support my work, you can check out my Patreon, which will be over here. And if you want to watch another video or my last video, actually, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out over here. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in my next one, as always.